Hi, this is Clemens at Elector. In this video we will have a look at the Elector ESP32 SmartKit bundle. A bundle comprising a book, the complete ESP32 projects guide, and a box with parts, including an ESP32 module. The complete ESP32 projects guide contains 59 experiments from simple to intermediate level. It uses the ESP32 DevKit C board together with the Arduino IDE and MicroPython and it contains circuit diagrams and program listings that can be downloaded as well. You can download it from the Project Guide webpage here. Click on Downloads. There it is, Software Complete. Chapter 3 of the book uh, describes how to install the ESP32 DevKit C into the Arduino IDE, so we will follow that. It starts by uh, downloading the API, the libraries for the ESP32. You get it from this link, you paste it in the additional boards manager URLs box, then press OK. Then you go to tools, board, boards manager, type ESP, there it is already, and you install it. Now this is a big file, and this will take a while. So the ESP32 uh, has been installed. We can close it, and now we can connect our board. Our board is on COM42, and the board is a ESP dev module. Get it from here. Now. In chapter 3 it is suggested to open an example from the Wi-Fi folder from the ESP. Here it is. And then it's the Wi-Fi scan. Uh, so let's upload this uh, sketch to the board. There we go. Make this a bit bigger so we can see what is going on. So compiling takes a while because the ESP32 library is uh, pretty big. Done uploading, so let's see what happens on the serial port. Set the speed. And it finds networks, so it is working. Citing the book. At this point we have successfully installed the ESP32 processor into our Arduino IDE. Time to try out another example. Okay, so after installing our um, ESP32 DevKit C in the Arduino IDE and testing it, we can try a project, uh, the first project that we do always with a microcontroller, flashing an LED. I have installed uh, the book software in my sketchbook folder, and so I can now uh, access it from here. And chapter 4 from the book suggests to load the flashing LED example, which is here. Okay, I've set up the LED and the board, so I connected an LED to GPIO 23 through with 330 ohm series resistors. Let's see if this works. In the meantime, we can have a look at the sketch. And as we can see, it should flash at a frequency of a half hertz. There it goes, programming. And what do you know, it works. Great. Let's see what else we can try. Lighthouse. Let's try the lighthouse example. Okay, so let's uh, try an example to control something over Wi-Fi. LEDs, for example, there is a UDP control app described in chapter 10, a sketch, I mean, which allows you to control two LEDs connected to the board. And here we are, one connected to pin 23 and the other to uh, IO 22. You control it by sending it ASCII commands over UDP, and for that it will use a UDP app uh, to install on your smartphone. You must first, of course, change the SSID and the password to the ones of your network. Let's uh, see if this works. 
To control the ESP32 DevKit C board, you will need the UDP receiver and sender app from Vessel Studios that you can find in the Google Play Store. To communicate with your ESP32 module, you will need its IP address that it got from the DHCP server. Uh, one way to get it is uh, from your router's DHCP client list. You may want to do a ping to see if it responds. An easier way is to add these two lines to the sketch so that it will print the module's IP address that it got from the DHCP server in the serial terminal. Now you must enter the module's IP address in the app uh, together with the port number and then you can send commands. Commands are case sensitive and should be capitals only. The ESP32 can also be programmed in MicroPython. For this you need a special firmware that can be downloaded from the MicroPython website. Just grab the latest version. The procedure of how to program the firmware into the module is described in detail in chapter 14 of the book. So that was our quick uh, test of the complete ESP32 projects guide as found in the ESP32 Smart Kit bundle. I did two, three examples from the book. The book has many, many more. I cannot do all of them because it would make a very long video. And besides, uh, it's up to you to do them now. So um, having said that, I hope this was interesting for you. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.